Hello and welcome to this video in hatching techniques and thick and thin lines. For homework I want you to produce a bit of work something like this and to do that you're going to need a sharp pencil, rubber and a ruler as well. So first thing I would like you to do um, roughly in the middle of a piece of paper or the middle of a page if you do a vertical line about four centimeters and then I want at an angle of approximately 30 degrees so that angle there, that would be approximately 30 degrees. <clears throat> I want you to do another two lines, and these will also be four centimeters, so you end up with a sort of wide looking arrow. Uh, then at the top, I want another set of lines, and these would be parallel to that, and that would again be about four centimeters. So you end up with something that looks like that. And then connect up the sides like so. It should look something like that, like a book. And then finally, another set of parallel lines. So a parallel line with that, about four centimeters, the same there. Okay, so you should end up with a, a cube look like that. And that is using the isometric technique. Once you've done that, I want you to shade it using the hatching technique. So hatching is where you've got very quick light lines okay on one side of the cube we're going to do single hatch so you're going to do the same just go over light lines quite quickly done like so and then on the other side we're going to do cross hatch now what that means is quick like lines in one direction look how i'm holding the pencil quite far up and then change direction like so. Now you should notice the more lines you have, the darker it should appear. So I could add some different direction and then across here. And the idea is by repeating this, you end up with a darker and a lighter side. Okay, so we'll have a lighter side, darker side. And then the final thing is to go around the outside just a bit more heavily, just the outside of the shape. You can use a pencil or perhaps a sharpie, something like that. And by having a thick outer line, it should then stand out from the page quite a bit more. Like so. So this is a cube using thick and thin lines. Thin lines inside thick lines outside and then hatched around the side. Uh, if you want to try something more advanced, you could do something like a letter L. So I'd encourage you to have a go at this. Again, start with a line about four centimeters. If I go about three centimeters in that direction and then one in that direction, like so. Then if I go up four and then join those two, if I go up here one and then I go diagonally across about two so if I go up two let's go up three in fact go up three there and then join them what you'll end up with is the letter L using uh, the isometric technique now, notice there are vertical lines, that's correct. And there are diagonal lines, that direction and that direction, that's correct, that's correct. There are no horizontal lines. So a horizontal line is like that direction, that's wrong. It's just vertical diagonals. Um, then you can hatch that as well. So if I did single hatch here, Like so, and then on this side, I'm going to cross hatch. Get the idea? Now I've got a darker side, a lighter side, and a completely blank two sides here. Um, and then, yeah, go around the outside. If you want, you can use a felt tip or a pen or a sharpie like I've got. And the idea is if you just go around the outside, the image should stand out more on the page. OK, 
Okay, so sharp pencil. I want you to draw a cube, cross, uh, hatch one side, cross hatch the other, and then give it a thick outline to make it stand out from the page. Good luck.